So let's take a look at the beginning. So we have the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups, um, it can um, indicate some disappointment from the past, kind of taking a look at what went wrong, what, um, what you want to do for the future. There is an opportunity, it feels like, right there, right in your space that you may not be aware of or paying attention to. So broaden your scope a little bit. Um, this may even be a new job, a new relationship, but it's something that's new that's coming towards you that will kind of fill the void of some of the things that were disappointing pointing to you, but it does look like you're kind of dwelling on a disappointment from the past. What crosses you is whatever energy we put into life. Uh, it's a wheel of fortune. Basically, you, uh, if your thoughts are kind of focused on negative, then, you know, our, our brain is kind of like a computer. We can uh, computer create whatever it is focused on so if you focus on the negative that most likely will be created as well as focusing on the positive that most likely will be created so it is really up to you and the wheel of fortune kind of goes around and around where she stops nobody knows it can be uh, as uh, also the card of luck so there may be some luck coming towards you it uh, doesn't mean to run out and play the lotto although you can but um, it does indicate some good luck coming your way what is above you is the nine and the nines are like almost done things tens are the completion of something or the realization of something um, and this is a nine uh, this does indicate money um, inheritance possibly and or it could just be getting your finances together, reorganizing them, you know, letting go of the things that are not necessarily the have-to-haves and uh, really focusing on cleaning up bills and making your finances a little more, more solvent. But it does look like there's a new shift, there's a new focus on either creating more money, could be finding um, a different job um, or even looking for for a job if you are not currently employed but it does look you know it's right next to the luck card so that is a good thing now uh, November would be a great time to either apply for that job you know start that um, uh, redo your resume, uh, speak your truth at work if you want a promotion. So luck is on your side. So anything you'd like to do with finances to improve them now is the time to do it. But this also can mean the inheritance card as well. The hermit is, is uh, just in the, in the past position. And the hermit, unlike the four of pentacles you know the four of pentacles is also an isolation card but that's more of like running away from something whereas the hermit is going to the hill going up to the top of the mountain and checking in with god or checking in with spirit meditating um really kind of uh it's not really an isolation card it's more like going into yourself for the answers within um, which is a very healthy way of doing things so it does look like you have embraced either some kind of meditation praying or just um, created a space for you to do some free form thinking if you are not uh, connected to the religious aspect this lifetime but the hermit basically is going deep inside and looking for answers so that probably has become a part of your awareness already the star is here and the star you know that stands for pouring out your energy creating things uh, great ideas that come from the heavens or your mind or or the um the intrinsic side and bringing it out into the light and bringing it out into um to from manifesting this does feel more like it's it's um, starting to focus on you um, it does feel like you have kind of um, spread yourself a little thin maybe doing things for others before you've done things for your for yourself and things have fallen through the cracks so now it's time to reframe and refocus on your life and what you'd like to do moving forward so and the star also can be in all those great projects but this is the card for Aquarius so I really am feeling that this is a focus on yourself type of card it's time to um, narrow your scope do the things that you need to do that you've been putting off to help other people and um, some clean up some of that that stuff that's been 
that you've been dragging around that's serving, not serving you anymore. So it does feel like new things are on the horizon, um, that you have a new focus, and it has to do with you and your projects and your future. So um, moving forward into uh, the future position is the Ten. This is the Ten of Wands, and you can see his burden is very, very heavy. So it does feel like there uh, may have been some impositions given to you. Of course, it's right next to the star, so it does feel like you need to uh, release some of these things that no longer serve you. Or, you know, maybe you promise to do these things that that isn't really capable of you. But it's now it's time to focus on your health and your healing and to take the time for yourself first and foremost. And, of course, if you have any extra time, it's it's always nice to help others. But this, this month, it does look like Aquarius that you have to put yourself first in order to get the ball rolling on those projects that have kind of been hanging in the air here. Um, but this does feel like a very heavy burden. Uh, the healing uh, orange is lighting up for me. So uh, some of you may be uh, dealing with some physical ailments. And that can be anything from a cold to cancer. Um, so it does require some attention on your part. And to really lighten your load so you can uh, refocus on yourself and your healing. Um, you know, and this doesn't necessarily have to be a physical ailment either. It could be worrying. It could be stress. Um, it, it could just be um, time to create time for you and uh, releasing a lot of those burdens that don't work. This also feels like you are releasing at the same time some of those core values that haven't worked for you. This is the season for that to happen. Lots of planets are kind of dictating uh, all of us, all the signs to look at the values, see if it works for you. It may have worked, you know, two, three generations ago, but you know, this is present time, so it may not be working for you. So time to lay your burdens down, Aquarius. The page of swords here and pages can be messages. Swords can be news problems or difficulties. Um, this also could relate to a young person that is maybe learning the hard way. If it is a young person, uh, pages can stand for children as well. And this is an air sign as Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. Um, but it does feel more like you will get some information, uh, maybe about a problem that needs to be resolved. It can be a surprise to something, a bill you didn't know that uh, was still outstanding, something like that. But it's a, it's a problem-solving card. It's a page of swords. It kind of cuts through the jives and brings things to the surface. Uh, the King of Pentacles is right here. This does feel more like a person than it is the situation. Kings usually stand for being in great integrity, you know, doing the right thing, kind of the leader of things. Um, and the Pentacles can mean money or physical things. So you may be um, aligning your integrity more to uh, being a little more fluid with your money or um, paying things on time, things like this but if it does stand for a person it would be an earth sign a capricorn taurus or virgo um, i don't like to uh, tag male or female onto the cards um, it it does feel uh, like someone that is very helpful um, capricorn taurus or virgo and someone that um, you're kind of pairing with bouncing ideas off and it's this does feel like someone that may be a family member or someone close in the heart that has kind of never steered you wrong and it feels like some of these new ideas um will be bounced off of this person it also feels like this yellow is riding uh really lighting up for me in this in this readings your orange and your yellow so it does feel like that healing has begun um there is a bright day in front of you is what spirit is telling me um and so be exalted in your in your words um, as well as your responsibilities, accept your part in things, let things go that, that aren't yours, um, and really refocus on you and yours and um, checking things off the list that you've been wanting to do. But keep it in integrity. Um, 
And the disc here, the pentacles, really means the physical form of things, um, money, uh, physical things that, you know, um, you acquire, cars, houses, things like that. So it does feel like uh, it's time to get some of that money and physical things in a little bit uh, better flow for you. Uh, the next card here is the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords kind of de depicts it may be time to float a little bit in your personal life or your family life while you get your own stuff together. But it does look like some decisions that you have uh, been, been making. You may have to wait a little bit, get some more information. You know, if this is a new job or a new way of... Uh, of making money, um, you may have to wait a little bit longer for um, the answer that you're looking for, um, and it's okay to let uh, let other people steer the ship. It does look like you have been in control of some things for for quite a while, so it's okay to release some of those responsibilities that are kind of group or collective responsibilities and let somebody else handle that while you just float a little bit um, and heal yourself a little further. So uh, this is uh, the four is here. You've got a lot of swords here. So it does look like um, thinking and communicating may be uh, heavy on your plate and on your mind. Um, it does feel like it's been interrupting your sleep and your creature comforts a little bit. And, you know, that can be anything from not sleeping at all and overthinking or using sleep as an escape to not deal with responsibilities and problems or depression or whatever it is, the escape is. It does feel like you are being able to resolve things one by one. Um, it, it also feels like you may not be eating correctly either, whether that's too much or not enough. Um, so see if you can relieve some of the stress. And I'm feeling spirit is kind of throwing this picture of physical exercise, walking around the block after dinner, um, validating uh, the body on some level, uh, maybe exhausting it a little bit will help you switch from the, from the mental into the restful, restful or rejuvenative sleep. But it does look like your mind is going lickety split and it is interrupting your sleep. Uh, and then again, there is a possibility of kind of sleep is an escape. So be aware um, that does look like it is changing. The chariot is on one side, temperance is on the other. So really finding your balance, speaking your words, um, relieving yourself of some stress. And, you know, if you speak with... Um, love and kindness you'll be able to resolve a lot of things but it does look like you are kind of re-entering a more balanced time in your life that that it looks like you've been in kind of a topsy-turvy place for maybe a month or two and now things are starting to balance out it does feel like with this temperance card that you have been kind of looking at your own judgments and opinions on things and that is making a shift to a much more positive love-based place. On the other side of this is the chariot, and the chariot is also about balancing and balancing the dark and the light and being able to work through this. Um, it also can mean travel and style, upping your havingness, upping your abundance, you know, saving for something that you've always wanted to do, chasing your dreams. Uh, the medical insignia is uh, lighting up for me, so I do believe Aquarius, that you are working through either some physical or mental pain. Um, and it does feel like it's getting a little more balanced, um, getting more information. So you're, be, you're able to move forward with the resolution in that. All right, sweet Aquarius, that is your reading for the month of November. If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to... Uh, throw a couple of these angels in abundance cards and get some clarity on this reading. I like to throw all these just as a little treat. Let's see. Ask for what? Ask for your needs to be met. So it does look like, you know, it's right next to this king of pentacles. So you may have to bounce some ideas off of somebody or ask for what you need. You know, and it even says in the Bible, ask and ye shall receive. So um, none of us are supposed to be doing this journey alone. None of us. We're here to help and facilitate each one of us as we are connected through spirit. 
The second card is let go of guilt. So whatever happened in the past that didn't um, manifest for you or manifested in a way that you did not wish, it's time to let go of that. You cannot change the past. Um, you, we can only kind of steer the future. So I'm going to read these and see what they have to say. God and angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true for clearly asking other people to assist you. So it's time to come out of that mental space and reach out and ask for help. Um, you help very many people, Aquarius. It's your turn. If it is your turn now, uh, please be brave enough to ask for help. It's really not that difficult. We just need to get out of our own ways to do so. And it looks like you just need a little push, a little help, a little push into that direction. Um, and let go of guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So whatever that situation was that kind of bummed you out over the last couple of months, it's time to let it go. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for the best, even if it doesn't look like it while it's happening. Um, and it's time to move forward, Aquarius.